Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. Remember, you can pull out your Life of Fred book and follow along. Remember, you can press pause at any time. We're going to be working in Life of Fred apples. We're gonna be on chapter 13 on page 89 and the title is Silly Duck. Fred hopped off the boat. It was good to be on land again. He pulled the boat onto the shore and put a sign on the side of the boat. Warning, this boat leaks. He didn't want anyone to use the boat before the leak was fixed. On shore, Fred saw three things, an evergreen tree, a deciduous tree, and a duck. There was nothing strange about the trees, but the duck looked a little unusual. How many unusual things can you see about this duck? Number one, he has sunglasses. Number two, he's wearing a tie and coat. Number three, he is taller than Fred. Fred is three feet tall. The duck must have been around four feet tall. Most ducks are not four feet tall. The other thing that was strange about the duck was that he talked. He didn't say quack quack like most ducks do. Instead, he said, good morning. Fred didn't know what to say. It was two in the afternoon. The duck pointed to the evergreen tree and said, this tree is deciduous. Fred didn't know what to think. This was February in Kansas. That tree had all its leaves. It was not deciduous. Then the duck said, three apples plus four apples are 15 apples. This is silly, Fred thought to himself. Everyone knows that three apples plus four apples are seven apples. And everyone knows that three apples plus four apples does not equal 15. Fred might have been wrong about whether it was morning or afternoon. He might have been wrong about whether the tree was deciduous, but as a math teacher at Kittens University, he knew that three plus four does not equal 15. The duck looked at Fred and said, you are a bowl of soup. Fred tried to imagine all the ways that he might be a bowl of soup. He decided that Fred does not equal a bowl of soup. Fred liked the does not equal sign. Most things are not equal. If you add two plus five, two plus five does not equal zero. Two plus five does not equal two. Two plus five does not equal four. Two plus five does not equal six. Two plus five equals seven. Fred didn't want to be around someone who didn't tell the truth. It was worse than being in a snowstorm without a hat. In both cases, your head may start to hurt. Fred said goodbye and started jogging. The last words he heard from the duck were, I like carrots cooked in gasoline. Okay, everyone. I hope you remember to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And are you ready? Because it's your turn to play. Number one, after being around that duck, it starts to get hard to tell what is true and what is false. Which of these are true? One plus six equals seven. Four plus three does not equal 88. 555 plus zero equals 555. Number two, in books for younger readers, you can find problems like blank plus four equals seven. In algebra, they ask the same question by writing X plus four equals seven. What does X equal? Number three, name a set that has 12 members in it. Okay, here are your answers. You can go ahead and pause the video at any time to do your work. And here it says 
our alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, has 26 letters. The Greek alphabet has 24 letters. Okay, everyone. I hope you learned something fun today. Join me tomorrow for chapter 14. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye.